Somebody need to give me some money to get this apartment together. That's what I'm saying. I'm feeling real fine again. Ew, ew, ew. You look like I work out. Oh, look at you. Now you trying to get up out of here. Your girl is back with another vlog. Oh! What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another vlog. <laughs> Round of applause. Today is Wednesday, y'all. I have to go get my hair done. That's why I got this hat on, y'all. And let me know if you like my hat. It say, I don't do boyfriends. Even though I have one, but... I had this hat for a long time, y'all. <laughs> and I thought it was so cute. So anyway, I had to go get my hair done. Your girl is looking like a chicken, so I'm not taking this hat off until I get to the salon. So I had to get my hair done, and I don't know what else I had to do for the day because I haven't made any plans, but I am off on Wednesdays. So sometimes I like to do some things. So I'm gonna start the vlog today and then finish it out on Sunday. Anyway, lately I've been drinking 7-Eleven coffee, y'all. I used to drink 7-Eleven coffee for years, years ago, right? I always went to 7-Eleven every single morning before I had to go in the office. And I love their coffee, but it's hot. And then I switched over to iced coffee and I'm like, eh, I don't really like the hot coffee no more. But girl, lately I've been drinking 7-Eleven coffee and it's been bomb, even though it's 90 degrees outside. It's still really good. <laughs> so that's what I'm about to go do, is grab me some coffee. I have my to go bag ready because if you know what you know when you're in the salon you just don't know how long you're gonna be in there girl so make sure you pack you some goodies a charger a book ipad something to occupy yourself in the meantime so that's what i have in here i don't have any food in here though i don't think i have no snacks maybe i'll grab some seaweed hold on y'all hold on hold on hold on y'all this seaweed is so good this is the sea salt seaweed um I got this from Trader Joe's. Yeah, I got this from Trader Joe's, y'all. When I tell you this is bomb, bomb. It's too early to be eating it right now. It's 11 o'clock. Yeah, I got an hour. So, I'm gonna go give you some coffee. Like I said, these are gonna be for later if I get hungry. Honestly, I really don't wanna eat these because I wanna go get some lunch after I'm done because my hair appointment is at 12, but I feel like I'm being there for like two and a half hours. One thing I can say is that my stylist, she is quick. But I got to get a relaxer, girl. Yes, I get relaxers if you don't know. Um, so, yeah, I had to get a relaxer and I had to get a haircut. Because, girl, my hair has grown. And I feel like that's going to take about two and a half hours. So, I definitely think I'm going to be hungry. There, where is all this on me? I'm going to be hungry once it's time to go. So, anyway, I see y'all at 7-Eleven. I'm going to show y'all how I make my coffee at 7-Eleven. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so excited about my coffee. I already know it's good because I've been drinking it for the past few days. The only thing is, I wanted them to have one of those, um, you know, the cup holders for coffee because it's hot. Let's see, let's see. Mm-hmm. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Now that's what I'm talking about. Anyway, y'all, that's it for now. If y'all want to try the coffee, I showed y'all how to make it. So let me know how you like it. And this is only for people who really like coffee. If you're not really a coffee drinker and you like all that sugar and cream and all that, listen, I like it sometimes too, but I like to drink coffee, girl. I like coffee. So yeah. girl is back i'm feeling real fine again ew, ew, ew. i'll show y'all more later but i told her to curl it tight today 
so it's looking real tight like i wanted it and i said i might gotta do it like this more often because i like the little curls and flips and stuff you know what i'm saying so obviously it grew out of the bold look so now she got it back going to the side but it's still cute what you think you think i look cute even though i feel like so much hairs on my face y'all oh and just in case y'all didn't realize already girl i got on some damn press ones do y'all see these do y'all see these i like them but then i don't girl i don't like long nails but then when you do all this it make it look cute like what you say what you say but trying to text and type and all that girl it be too much so anyway i am gonna go see my boo and i signed up for overtime while i was in there so we have been talking about this jamaican spot called jamaica pande pande rue is it jamaica pande rue <sighs> let me make sure is that the name of a girl pande road okay we've been talking about that and i'm close to them so i'm like maybe we should do that for lunch because i have not ate yet y'all and it's like two o'clock so i'm gonna grab that and then i'm gonna do my overtime at his place and if he comfortable with me recording i'm gonna just see what his reaction is not on camera but you know what i'm saying y'all be able to hear his voice that's enough um and we can react together because we both never had it and we've been talking about it for a while so y'all might not see me that much i might pop in and out but of course y'all will see me later on in the week but i am gonna record the spot that i'm going to to pick it up the jamaica ponde road and i'm gonna record our reaction so yeah ah! mm. Woo. i don't know how i decided to sign up for overtime but girl i got that message while I was in the chair, I said, oh yeah, let me go get some money. Let me go get some money. Even though I didn't plan on doing much today anyway. That's the only thing about when you get a haircut, y'all. You have hair everywhere. Woo! Get out! That thing looking busting. Ooh. It look good, don't it? That mac and cheese look a little sus. But these are the jerk wings, mac and cheese, rice and peas, plantain, cabbage, jerk chicken. We got the same thing, so we shall see how this tastes, but it looks good. You taste the cabbage already too? Yeah. You like it? Cabbage is good. I thought they was gonna have some greens. No, like greens, collard greens. Why would they have greens? Cause they be Jamaican places be having collard greens. Not really. No, they don't. They have cabbage. What do they serve their collard greens with? What do you mean? What do they serve it with? It's like a side. With what? Greens would go good with this. What do they serve their greens with? What do you mean serve them with? I'm not understanding the question. The question is, you have curry goat, right? Curry chicken. You have. So you would serve the greens with jerk chicken. Jerk chicken, right where it's at, where that cabbage at, you would put greens. It is cabbage. But I'm telling you. It's not a soul food restaurant. Let me, it's not a what? Soul food restaurant. Well, oh, that cabbage busting, y'all. Mmm. That cabbage good. You think you need hot sauce in there? No, hot sauce? What? Did you have have Jamaican food before? You can't put hot sauce in your cabbage? Please. Any spicy enough for you? Not the cabbage. Well, mix it in with some of that jerk chicken. I thought they was gonna have some type of like rum punch or something. They do. Not, no they don't, they don't have it. It's not alcoholic. Huh. I mean, the food truck I think it was that had, um, with the oxtail meal you get a rum punch or something. Oh, that's bomb. Dang, that's what oxtail sauce tastes like. It said that their oxtail cheese steak is their best seller. Yeah. I Have you heard about that? Yeah, that's why I was thinking about getting it, but I'm like, I'm tired of bread. And it's big. Yeah. So what you give it back? Please don't act like I'm, I'm doing anything different. What you give it on the scale of one to ten? And oh, hold on, take into time. account it's not fresh, fresh. No, you don't think that matter? You ain't been out that long. It seemed like it took forever for me to get here, right? I'm not. I feel great with the rice. It's, really it's bomb with the rice. Yeah. I just wasn't expecting 
thing. Yeah, that thing's smacking with the rice. But yeah, it's more so for the rice, not the chicken. I guess that's why they were saying in my, if I was If you want it, exactly. Imagine if you would have put that all over your chicken, you would have been mad. Yeah, I would have been mad, but it just, it won't go, it doesn't go. You definitely need She was it. like, he want to put oxtail with jerk chicken? <laughs> I said, that's what he said. She's like, you sure you don't want to make sure? I'm like, all right, let me go. I think it'd be good with some of that sauce on there. <laughs> on the mac and cheese? You know the mac and cheese? Yeah. Oh, that's savage. No, it's not. This ain't nothing but gravy. Meat gravy. I'm telling you, that'd be smack on yeah, that mac and cheese. If somebody who don't eat beef, you might want to relax on the... On yeah, the but it's not the meat. What do you think they get the gravy? It's just the sauce. Right, but it's not like I'm chewing the meat and it got to break down it's in my in, system. It's, in there. it's not the same. I don't know if it's smacking like people on TikTok make it seem. Mm. But it is good. I would eat it again. Of course, we got to try different stuff on the menu though. I'm definitely gonna try that oxtail um, cheese uh, steak, whatever. Okay, I give it on a scale of one to ten, y'all. Mm, seven point. <laughs> I'm laughing because you you already know I'm gonna say seven something. Cause you always say I say seven. What'd you say? How much you gonna go higher than that? I was about to go eight something. To be honest, but I was gonna do like 7.8. I don't know. They probably can't get an eight because I really don't have nothing to complain about. Like the mac and cheese ain't. It's not nasty, but it's not bomb, which I didn't expect anyway for it to be bomb. Um, so yeah, I love the cabbage. The cabbage is probably my favorite. Rice and peas with the sauce. The rice and peas, yeah. Has rice to have the peas. sauce. I don't like it by itself. It's just kind of dry by itself. And then the jerk chicken smacking, planting smack. Yeah, I get them an eight, like an 8.2 or something like that. I would have wanted a piece of like cornbread or something on the side. Bro, this is a Jamaican. I mean, what they do? It's not soapy, right? I know, but okay, what they do on the side? Uh, cocoa bread. Don't they do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that would have been pump. That would have been a nice little addition to it. Piece of cocoa bread on the side. So yeah, that's my that's my um, critiques. What about you? What you got? Keep in mind, y'all. He has beef patties too, but he not trying them right now. I'll say that um, this is the best. Jamaican food I've had since being in Houston, and I've tried, I've tried like three of them, three, three, three spots. This is the best uh, one by far. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't go with you with none of them. Yeah, I run um, I forgot the name of it. It's like um, it's downtown or midtown, I think. Mm. Anyway. Okay, so you, the best out of the places you've been to, the Jamaican spots you've been to, cool. Yes, yeah, it tastes like home a little bit. Like it's the closest I've had to New York for sure. Okay. So what you giving Keith Lee? <laughs> on his scale of one to ten. Uh, I don't like doing the scales and all that because it's always going to fall around. And don't scale. be phony. We all we do that. No, you do that. And you answer. You be giving an answer. If I feel like it's really really good. So you, you know, don't. I'm not an easy sell. You know what I'm saying. So that you don't feel like that's really really good. No, this is good for where we are. And like I said, comparing it to what I've had before, it's the best by far. Um, I'll give it an eight. But if I have it again, then we, we gotta do the video over. Why? What's the difference? If it, if it changes. I don't mislead my fans. Your fans? <laughs> fans, but you ain't even wanna, you ain't even wanna give a review, phony. As soon as I say, oh, we gonna get, I ain't doing that. You forced it out of me. I right? don't wanna do that. Now go. all of a sudden, these your fans. Sometimes you gotta walk into your COVID. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. uh. So. Well, he comparing it to New York Jamaican food, which is not really fair. Um, but I get what you're saying. No, it's not fair, but I I am recommending <clears throat> this like as a spot to go to. Absolutely, if you're looking for like, authentic Jamaican food. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, yeah, definitely here. Hit Jamaican Pan Pande Road. Ain't that how you say it? Yeah, Jamaican Pande Pan Road. But the thing that really people talk about, y'all, is that oxtail cheese steak. I will not be trying that. I don't eat oxtail. But yeah, we they yeah. gonna try it. Next time I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that. I just didn't feel like eating a cold. And I'll let y'all know later if I don't forget um when he tried a beef patty, what he think about it. I mean I took a little piece. 
Oh, you did? From the top. They say you're supposed to put a piece of cheese in there, don't you? No, they don't say that. You, when I have Jamaican beef patties, the person that gave it to me, they put cheese in the middle. That thing used to be smacking like no, that. No, that's fire. It's optional, though. Like, some people put cheese in it, some people don't. Some people eat it with cocoa bread and cheese when I was in the hood. Growing up, that's all we got. $2. $2.50. Well, them $5 a piece. piece. That's what I'm saying. But $2.50 will get you a beef patty with the big ass cocoa bread, uh -huh. cheese in the middle. Uh huh. Fire. That's For what you $2. Get. Two dollars fifty cent. How long ago was that? You got three dollars. You lit, cause then you could get the uh, fifty cent top pops <laughs> and all that. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So you say you say you took a piece of that? Yeah, it was good. It was good. But I haven't. I didn't eat it. I just took a little piece. I wanted to try it. It's Tyler, tasty. you're like such a hard I'm critic, saying, please. I'm not a hard critic, but I've had Jamaican food a lot in my life. So. See, I haven't. Yeah, that's we only know. and then you gotta think the Jamaican food I had y'all was in fucking Norfolk. Like, we, can we really? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's why you're so sweet can we really it. count that? Not really. Yeah, that's why you're so sweet. Like Virginia, the, no. By this, I get it. But, but uh, you know what I'm saying everything is standard, so I think that says a lot. Yeah, I think it's good. I really love the cabbage. I'm gonna keep saying that, but I really do. Rice and peas is fire, especially with the oxtail gravy. Mm -hmm. Last thing. That's the review. What? Did that spot serve the um, egg rolls? Oxtail egg rolls? Yeah. Yeah, they just didn't have them today. Oh. But they also have jerk jerk chicken egg rolls. Nah, I'm good on that. Yeah. The oxtail egg rolls probably fire. Uh, jerk? Mm, I think the oxtail egg rolls is fire. So we need to try the curry chicken too. They got a lot of things that we can try. Oh yeah, no, I'll definitely try the curry chicken. Yeah, I like curry. Do they have curry goat? I don't know. I didn't see that. Nah, we'll definitely be back though. Cause, uh... It's crazy because as many places as we've ate, I've never turned the camera on and gave a review. This is your first time. Mm. And we go, <laughs> we go a lot of places, y'all. <laughs> so I'm going to start doing a little better. I don't know. I just be looking at like private time. But it's just a little quick. Little one, two, just to say how you feel about it. It don't have to be a whole, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, you can't be a full breakdown like now, but. Yeah. Maybe after we leave the spot, you, you know, take a video of the food, and after you leave the spot, kind of break it down. Right. In the car or something, I don't know. And, and sometimes I forget my camera too when I come over here. You usually forget your camera. I usually forget. So I am about to work. See you guys probably this weekend when I vlog again. Shout out to Babe for hopping in the video. Man, Sem to me on semi IG. <laughs> semi <laughs> hopping in the video. I'm just playing, don't one, one time, one time they uh they say they saw your arm. He's like, dang, I saw his arm. That's the, that's the most I was able to see. That's funny. <laughs> it look like I work out. Oh, look at you! Not you trying to get out of here. Yes, he do work out. Absolutely, it's giving chunky. It's given. Anyway, y'all. <laughs> I'll catch up with y'all later. Peace. Wanna say bye, babe? Bye, y'all. Hey, y'all. And welcome back to another day of the vlog. So, it is officially the weekend. I did want to come on here really quick because I am in the middle of cleaning and working. Got to get the place together. Even though it's not that much to do because I keep it clean already. But, you know, just tidy up a little bit. Um, but y'all, I got some new stuff that I want to show y'all. Ah! So first things first, I did get some Olaplex, um, bonding oil. Y'all know I had the mini one, the little trial size one when I do my hair. So I did get the bigger one now. This was $30 y'all and I'm excited because this is going to last me a while. So I'm excited about that. Shout out to Olaplex. Call me. And then, girl, so I've been seeing all the little beauty gurus, you know what I'm saying? The beauty girls on TikTok. They always talking about the Fenty Beauty um, gloss bomb sticks. So this one is in Blazed Donut. Well, this is the packaging, but this is how it looks. Now, this is really cute, y'all. <laughs> you see it? This is so cute. And they got the Fenty Beauty right there. It's just like when you put it on, it's going to mess up, but... I do want to try it. It's supposed to be like a high 
gloss y'all know i love me some lip products okay i didn't put y'all on game already with the lip liner and the uh what is that other one i just had nyx one so yeah and then i got another lip liner by fenty beauty i've never tried fenty beauty's lip liners so this one is in thigh something extra thigh okay so i've heard great things about it it's brown but it's a lighter brown so the brown that I'm used to is the one with MAC, which is really dark. But we're going to look and see what this two look, these two look like. So y'all wasn't even going to tell me that my little headband thing was looking all crooked. Y'all wasn't even going to tell me, but we good. We good. It's cool anyway, because I'm fine with looking like this until I'm done cleaning. But yeah, this is the extra thigh. So let's see how this looks. I need my mirror. First of all, I'm already noticing it's more of like a marker kind of pencil not like the crayon style like um mac so hmm yeah this is this is creamy it feel good and it's definitely lighter y'all probably can't really tell oh it feel good it feel real good yeah it's not as deep brown as the um mac chestnut so this one is a lot softer okay i like this so far so far so good Y'all know I love Rihanna. Rihanna can never go wrong with anything that she put out. So, anyway, let's try the Blazed Donut is the name of it, y'all. Blazed Donut. Ooh. Ooh, that's cute. That's cute. I mean, it's a little messy. That's cute. It's very subtle. This is This is good. I can see myself using this gloss bomb outside of using it with lip liner, just like a little lip gloss. Oh, this is cute. It almost gives the same look as the combo that I had with the um with the NYX. So yeah, if y'all want to try it out, try it out. Also, I got another thing I want to show y'all. Let's go back to the kitchen because I left them in the kitchen. As y'all know, Bath and Body Works are always having a sale on their candles. Y'all, if you really are OG on my channel, then you would know that I used to do Bath and Body Works hauls all the time, girl. I used to spend so much money at Bath and Body Works, candles, body lotion, sprays. And over the years, it just got kind of old to me. Like, I just stopped. And I didn't want to be the girl to do all the, the, the hauls and stuff. So I transitioned over to vlogs. If you know, you know. But... I used to do so many Bath and Body Work hauls with candles, y'all. So I haven't had their candles in years. I don't use their sprays and lotions anymore. You know, your girl a little grown now. So I do like, you know, the body butters and stuff now. So we don't do the, the lotions and sprays. No shade if you still do. But you know, we want to do a little something of better tier now that we're getting a little older. But can't go wrong with them candles though. Them candles was on sale for $12.95. So I did pick up four. I didn't want to do a whole lot because I'm not into like the fruity scents anymore. I don't know what it is, y'all. It's like once you start getting older and become an adult, you just want things to just be subtle. You don't want all that fruity loud stuff. Like, I don't. Anyway, the Mahogany Teak Wood Intense. This is definitely giving Woody. Love it so much. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Oh yeah, that smell bomb. I got two of these. So I'm gonna put one in the bathroom and then probably one in my room. And then I got sweater weather. If you know, you know. Oh, that thing bomb. Yeah. Okay, and the last one I got is flannel, which, yeah, I miss these. I miss these. Usually, y'all, if you really know me, if you really know me, then you know that Champagne Toast is my favorite candle scent from Bath & Body Works. But I did not get it. I don't know why, y'all. I wasn't really feeling it. It wasn't giving the mood. So, anyway, these four I got. Boom. And it was something else I wanted to tell y'all. Oh, <laughs> let me show y'all something, girl. Because your girl is, you know, doing a little bit of progress with the crib. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Boom! <laughs> we got the TV on the wall. Don't mind them boxes over there, y'all. But we got the TV on the wall. And then we also have the TV on the wall in the bedroom. Ah! 
So we getting somewhere, y'all. We getting somewhere. It's over there in the corner. It looked kind of funny over there. I'm not going to lie. But, yeah. It's cute. But I catch up with y'all later. Either later on tonight, we probably going to smoke some hookah, watch a movie, um, maybe have some wine. And then, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. I got to work, too. So, anyway. I just want to catch y'all up. Toodles! <laughs> Your girl is back on the cam. So we ordered some fuja from this halal spot and it looks so good. We've had it before, but anyway, let me show y'all how it looks because it's looking good and your girl is hungry, okay? When I tell you this about to be bomb. Yeah. Hopefully y'all, this white sauce don't make my stomach hurt because your girl got a weak stomach. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mmm. I think I'm gonna add some more vegetables to mine from the refrigerator because I wanted extra vegetables, but I ain't asked for it. I forgot. Mmm. Mm hmm. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> got me some wine, y'all. Cheers. Mmm. It's been a long day, baby. It's been a long day. And I'm excited to relax. Welcome back to another day on the vlog. I don't know the last time I vlogged, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I don't remember the last time I turned this camera on. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Your girl is off, finally. Okay, I've been working, 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 working. So it's about seven, maybe. Yeah, 7.30, it's 7.30 y'all. And I have two things I need to do. So I need to go to the gym, right? I need to get a workout in, you know? But I also booked a gym tour to view Lifetime Gym, y'all. First of all, do y'all have a Lifetime Gym membership? Because baby, let me tell you something. That Lifetime Gym membership is expensive, honey. And you know, I just wanna go in there and see if it's worth it, you know? I know that different locations charge different prices, which I think is kind of crazy, but the closest location to me charged almost $200, y'all. And I'm like, dang, is a gym membership worth $200? But they are closer to me than the regular gym that I go to, which is 24 hour fitness. So I'm like, do I wanna see what Lifetime is giving? And I see they got Pilates, girl. And I've been wanting to go back to Pilates. So I don't know, girl, I'm like, would I want to pay $200 for a membership? Probably not. Would I do it if it's worth it? If it's worth it, if I feel like it's worth it. And another thing too, y'all, with my job, we get reimbursed on a monthly basis for our gym membership, whatever we have. But they only reimburse you like $108 total. So let's make us a matcha and then we can figure out what we're going to do, y'all. Finally. Houston, well, Texas in general is starting to cool down because, baby, this was a hot summer. Do anybody else think this was a hot summer? Because, baby, I was hot. Can y'all believe we almost at 6K? Oh, my gosh. I feel like I've been at 5K or 5,400, whatever, for so long. But I'm telling y'all, these shorts is definitely helping my channel. This is y'all favorite part, right? Ooh, this is my favorite part, too. The poor baby, the poor. Absolutely beautiful. So stinking cute. Y'all, I be thinking everything cute. <laughs> Don't let me forget to show y'all the bar stools that I ordered. I ordered me some bar stools finally. First of all, I just feel like this. Let me tell y'all something. Let me sit down real quick, cause I gotta talk to y'all real quick. We gonna leave out at, let's put an alarm on girl, cause it's already 8.30. Y'all know I like to talk. We gonna leave out at 8.40, so I'm gonna talk to y'all for about five, 10 minutes, hold on. <laughs> so as y'all know, the TV is up. I told y'all, the TV in the living room is up, the TV in the bedroom is up. So, this is what I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to see, should I just take a good amount of money that I have set aside and just get a lot of stuff for my apartment at one time, or should I do it in increments, like, going forward because i'm tired girl i'm not trying to prolong this decorating apartment like i did with my last one baby i want it to be together fast i feel like i've been here like what a month now hasn't been a month let me see 
Has it been a month? Yeah, it's been a month and a half, literally. So I feel like in a month and a half, girl, you need some stuff. You need some stuff. And the money is there. I have the money, but I'm like, I don't want to just take a lump sum like that. Maybe I should like space it out, whatever. But anyway, I ordered some bar stools and I'm thinking about ordering this rug for the living room. I want to order a rug for the bedroom. I want to order, uh, it's a lot of stuff I got in my car, y'all. So I don't know, I just need some assistance. I mean, I know it's not y'all money and y'all not spending it, so it's easy for y'all to be like, girl, just spend it. But be real with me, you know what I'm saying? Should I take my time or should I just say F it and just get everything, well not everything, but like the big things, girl, like the big things, like a coffee table, a rug, a, a, the stuff for the bedroom. Or should I just take my time and I put too much pressure on myself? And then I got to get the bathroom together, girl. <sighs> Listen, let me ask Siri real quick. Let me ask Siri something real quick. Siri, how can I get someone to pay for my stuff that I need in my apartment? Which app would you like to use? Not her bringing up Cash App. Hold on, maybe I said it wrong. Let me think. Siri. Where can I get a million dollars from? Here's what I found. Seven steps to one million dollars. Girl, please. Somebody need to give me some money to get this apartment together. That's what I'm saying. All right, y'all. Let's head out. Let's head out. All right, y'all. Your girl is out. I'm ready to go. I'm 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Good on time. So. Hopefully I like this gym, y'all. I'm kind of nervous because I feel like I'm gonna like it so much that I'm be like, okay, I'm gonna pay for it. But <laughs> I have a, I have cut my expenses so much, y'all, that I'm like, do I really want to add something like two hundred dollars for a gym? And y'all probably like, girl, you crazy, girl, you crazy. But if you feel, but if I feel like it's worth it, and they got Pilates in there too, <sighs> take my money. <laughs> girl is back so let's talk about it let's talk about it let me get a sip of my matcha first mm. now do i think it's worth it is the question <laughs> i think it's worth it for people that enjoy doing a lot of things when they go to the gym if you want to do a sauna if you want to do classes you want to do yoga you want to do pilates you want to go to the pool you want to go to the spa you want to go to it has everything you can possibly think of. It feel like a country club. It feel like I could be in there for hours doing multiple things and I'd be good, right? However, if you are not a person that care about all that stuff and you just want to go to the gym, get a workout in and go home, then I wouldn't do it, right? I would stick to whatever you're doing. For me personally, I enjoy a little bit of flexibility outside of doing my weight training, such as cycle classes. But do I realistically think I'm going to go to the pool? No, I don't even know how to swim. That's number one. I mean, they have an area where you can just lounge out and like, you know, work if you want to or just chill in the pool. Will I do that? Not really, because for me, I like to go to the gym before I go to work. So I like to get a workout in about five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning. Y'all, this is some bougie. When I say bougie, I mean bougie. It's giving sip your tea with your, with your pinky in the air. <laughs> now, if I wasn't the one paying for it, oh, baby, sign me up today. But $200 a month? I don't know, sister. I said, I don't know, lady. I'm going to call you and I'm going to let you know. She did tell me that she think my job offers a discount. So we're going to look into that. If it's a big discount, I might do it. If it ain't, 24 me, baby. 24 me, baby. But they don't have any um, annual fees, which is nice. Because 24 hour fitness, y'all, I think the annual fee is like $60 a year or something like that. So anyway, I'm done talking. <laughs> We are out the shower. Your girl is feeling good. And don't be thinking I wash up with my hands. I was just trying to show y'all how I look on the skin because I just shaved my arms and it's looking real good. But don't be thinking I don't use no washcloth now. <laughs> Some people do wash up with their hands, but I'm not one of them. Anyway, y'all, my hair look crazy. Obviously sweated out from the gym, but that's okay because we about to get it together. So I'm about to sit under the hair dryer after I do my skincare. Do y'all see I'm breaking out? I don't know where that came from. I think it's because of this, uh, what's this called? 
this Cetaphil Gentle Scrub. Uh, this is for exfoliating, y'all. I think that break me out. I don't know. I like Cetaphil, but that might be a little too strong for my skin. So, my hair is already wet from the shower. And yes, this is sweaty hair, aka wet hair. AKA, I don't care. Because what I'm not about to do is wash it. <laughs> That's what we not gonna do. Now I'm starting to think too, like when I need like a shape up in the back instead of going all the way back to my stylist i think i'm gonna start going to the barber shop for them to just cut the back i'd be like oh my goodness my hair has grown out so much in the back but the rest of it is fine i don't need like a whole haircut i just be needing like a little one two in the back like the dude you know like the guys be getting a little shape up that's all i be needing girl so I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably start doing that. It really don't matter too much about how you mold it in a sense. Like you don't have to be perfect about it. We're gonna take this and wrap this around like that. Bring it around. Damn. <laughs> I need to go sit under the dryer ASAP. So let me finish my skincare really quick and I'll see y'all in the kitchen. Bye. <laughs> Your girl is back on the cam. I look a little more decent, don't I? <laughs> so let me show y'all what I'm wearing real quick and then we are out the door, honey. Your girl is getting slim. I didn't lost three pounds so far. I'm trying to lose 15 to 20, but we ain't gonna talk about that right now. Anyway, this is what I'm wearing. This top, I don't know where I got this from, to be honest, but I love it so much. It makes my boobs stick out a little too much. You know, I'm trying to tuck them a little bit, but I think it's cute. And then I got this little bag on. These pants I got from TJ Maxx. Slides, I think I got them from Target. And then y'all know my accessories, my new necklace that I got not too long ago. Some rings, my two new bracelets, and yeah. I try to pop my little pimple, even though I shouldn't have did that, y'all, and put some concealer on it. So hopefully it don't stick out too much, but either way, it's fine. We better go get these dogs done, girl, because my feet is barking. <laughs> The feet is barking, girl. Yeah, it's time. Let's go, and then after that, we're gonna get some food, girl, because I'm hungry, okay? Let's go, bye. We have made it to the nail salon. I am not bringing my camera, y'all. I might, I might, I might invest in this little tripod thingy. I don't know what this is that I keep seeing a lot of people with. It's called like a Doji or DJI Cosmo thing. It's a, it's a camera. And you can record off it, but it's really, really tiny. So it's not very obvious when you like out in public and vlogging or whatever. So I'm like, I don't know. And then I looked it up, that thing almost like $400. I'm like, okay, are we really just making a jump for this? I don't know. I'm gonna think about it though, because sometimes y'all, I still want quality, but just not my big camera making it so obvious. So I'm gonna record off my phone, of course. And then I will see y'all when I'm done. back from the salon i'm about to go get some food your girl is so hungry so this was the plan the plan was to go to azumi sushi they had a discount going on for lunch special 25 dollars from one to three o'clock or up until three o'clock but girl i was in that salon for too long i'm not complaining because i had a good old time it was nice it was clean it was very professional and they did my toes very well so I'm not complaining about that, but I didn't think I would be in there as long as I was. So now I have to change plans because I'm gonna miss, I don't know if it's happy hour or what. So I am going to Ra Sushi happy hour. I don't know if y'all ever heard of that before, but me and my boo have went plenty of times. Ra Sushi happy hour, chef kiss y'all, so bomb. So I'm excited to go. They got edamame, so good, sushi, so good. And then they got like a margarita or something like that on a happy hour too. So good. So I'm excited as you can see. And I forgot my tripod at home. So I'm gonna try to record as much as I can on my camera, but also on my phone as well.
Your girl is back at the crib, y'all. I'm tired, okay? I said I wanted to go to the Butterfly Garden today. I said I wanted to go to La La Land today. But we're gonna have to save that for tomorrow on Sunday. Because your girl's tired. I'm tired, I'm tired. Yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> but before I go and I see y'all tomorrow, I have to tell y'all about this show that I'm watching called, hold on, what's the name of it? I forgot. So far, so good. We are on episode three and I'm watching it on my iPad. This is Tell Me Lies. That's what it's called. Tell Me Lies. I'm almost on episode four. I only got like a couple minutes of this um, episode left. But y'all, when I say it's so good already, it's so good. And it's two seasons, girl. If you know, you know. I love when I can binge watch something without any, any stops. No stops, y'all. I don't have to wait for a new episode. I can literally just watch the entire season one. And then it's five episodes on season two. So I'm gonna be locked in for the rest of the day. <laughs> can y'all tell I'm tired? Three people in this world that know when I'm tired. My mom, my dad, and my man. <laughs> they always say, you tired, you sleepy. Like right now when I start playing a little too much, even though y'all can't tell because y'all already know this how I be anyway. But they know, they call it easy. So yeah, your girl about to relax, kick my feet up, and watch this. And maybe take a little nap, you know? So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace. Happy Sunday, y'all. Today is the last day of the vlog, y'all. Oh my gosh. When I tell y'all I've been ripping and running throughout this apartment all morning, day, morning and day. I just got off of work. I did some overtime. So your girl is finally ready to get moving, okay? I need to take these nails off, y'all. They chipping. I did order me some black polish to match my toes, but I'm not doing that today. But I do need to make sure I change my nails or take them off today. So we are about to go to La La Land. As I told y'all, I wanted to go to La La Land to get me a matcha. I don't know if I want to get a matcha because I do want to try this Logan cucumber thing. And I don't know if that mix well with the matcha. And I don't want to mess my stomach up. Anyway, y'all, let's go. Oh, and I got to go to Sephora. Let me tell y'all this before I go. I went to Sephora and I tried this Summer Fridays. Y'all know I love lip stuff. This Summer Fridays Dream Lip Oil in Pink Cloud. This is the worst lip gloss I've ever tried in my entire life. The e.l.f. lip gloss that I be telling y'all about is better than this. When I tell y'all, I don't mean to, you know, talk bad about the brand. That's my first time trying Summer Fridays, but I hear so much about their lip oil and their lip balm. So, that lip oil, trash. As soon as you put it on your lips, it don't even feel like there's no gloss on your lips, y'all. And that thing was like almost $30. So, definitely going back to Sephora to take this back today. And yeah, so don't be trying Summer Fridays lip oil, y'all. You heard it from me. Y'all already know I'm gonna be real with y'all. If you're gonna do anything, start out with that e.l.f. The e.l.f fire y'all the level of irritation i have is at its highest peak right now girl shut up y'all we are going back home because this traffic is ridiculous okay i am not gonna make it to the butterfly garden in time they close at 5 30 and your girl i had to work so i'm irritated right now y'all so i will see y'all when we get to the house y'all when i tell you i'm irritated and i'm just over today I know we ain't go nowhere. We're supposed to go places. I know. I understand. But baby, let me tell you something. Between work and that traffic, no ma'am. I ain't want no parts. <laughs> we would not have had fun, y'all. I had an attitude. I still do have an attitude. An hour or something in traffic. This is why I don't really go outside around like 4 or 4.30 or whatever in Houston. Because baby, the traffic is ridiculous. So... Mark my word when I say this, we are going to the butterfly garden in the next vlog. Hopefully this vlog is put together nicely because it was all over the place, days and days and days in, days out, whatever. But anyway, y'all, if y'all like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you do not like the video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate y'all for what? <laughs> Click it on that video. Even though I'm annoyed, I still did it for y'all. So y'all better appreciate that. <laughs> anyway, y'all, peace.